Hey everybody, my name is Ed with Evermedia and today I'd like to show you some of our great applications of our software that come along with our visualizers. Well, first of all, I'd like to show you uh, something that you can do with the visualizer. Uh, one thing you can do is obviously put a piece of paper or a document under the visualizer. And as you can see here on a projector screen, it's nice and clear for everybody to see. And what I've used here is a, a colored keyboard. And as you know, we might have used this uh, in the old days to learn how to type. And it's kind of uh, non-interactive. So what I'd like to do now is actually show you a great thing we can do with the visualizer. First is actually put a 3D object under the camera. And as you can see, uh, with this laptop, you can see a real keyboard. Now that I've done this, I like to uh, switch over to the PC mode. So you can see what's actually going on on my actual computer here. And now as you can see, this is uh, my desktop. And uh, I'm going to open up the software that comes along with the visualizers. And in just a second here, you're going to see uh, a little, another little screen pop up on my uh, computer. There you go. And uh, in this screen, you can see the keyboard. And I'll open it up to a larger size so it's easier for you to see here. And as you can see, the software comes along with an easy to use control panel. I'm going to move it down here. And on this control panel, there's a lot of great functions here. For example, this one that I've highlighted here. Uh, you can click this button and uh, record your lessons in the classroom so you can play them back at any time for your students again or anybody. Uh, another great function here is uh, this little A button which stands for annotations. And uh, once I click this here, uh, I can choose a color and maybe a font size, a uh, bigger font size for you guys to see here. And uh, maybe I like to start typing on the actual screen, maybe uh, somewhere right here. For example, hi. I'm Ed. And as you can see, uh, while I'm typing these letters on the screen, uh, students can obviously learn very easily and interactively uh, using the visualizer and the software. Um, another great thing you can do is uh, play some great games with your students. For example, if you click this little box here, uh, you can select a color, maybe black, if you want to hide some of the keys on the keyboard. For example, uh, I want to hide these letters here. And as you can see on the screen, I'm blacking out some of the letters of the keyboard. And you're probably wondering why I'm doing this. Uh, obviously, this is a, a great way to test your students' knowledge of, of uh, learning how to type correctly on a keyboard. Maybe if I want to ask Johnny in the front row to come up to the, to the front of the classroom and uh, try practicing uh, how to type on the keyboard or maybe kind of quiz him to see his, uh, his learning curve. Uh, he might say, oh, I might, I might ask him, say, uh, Johnny, what's, uh, what do you think this letter is? Can you remember? And uh, he might say R. Uh, as you can see, R is right there, but um, just uh, doing this for example. Maybe I'll, I'll click the erase button and uh, erase this box here to see what letter it actually is. And as you can see, it's W. So uh, this is a great tool and a great way to test your students' learning. Uh, and as you know, this is only part of the uh, control panel and what you can do with our Evervision software and our visualizers. Uh, to learn more about how to use our visualizers and the software more intuitively and uh, more interactively, interactively in the classroom, you can visit our website at www.evervision.com. Uh, thanks for watching.